Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. Today is an unboxing and assembly here of the Likey Make Happy Ball Winder. This is a jumbo size. Now the ball winders that I've been using for the last several years are much smaller and you can purchase it online. These obviously are more cost effective than these. This is complete luxury. So let's begin to unbox and assemble. Step one, open the box. Step two, take it out of the bag. Step three, let's look at the instructions. Next step, release this. Next step, use this piece and the thread and thread inside. Once on, take this piece and go back through the thread here. So you can see it doesn't have very much play here, so it has to go in on an angle to match the shape here. I'm gonna turn it a little bit so that you can see. You're going to notice that you're gonna to try to put this on, but this is in the way right here. So what we have to do is that we have to compensate for that. So this piece is already on, and so if you pick this up, it will slide up and down. What you need to do is slide it up, like so, all the way that it matches, and then slide this piece on. And this here will match the angle of this, and be able to start winding it. So as you see, it's gonna go like this, and it's using this piece here to rotate that. So if you wanna remove this again, you just have to pick it up, slide off, and you can see it comes all the way down. So if you don't slide up, you're gonna see that it won't match. So you need to slide up first, and place on so that it matches. So here is the clamp and you can open it all the way. This is the thickness of the table plus also the distance to meet the top of this piece right here. Adjust the clamp to match the thickness of the table. There's a rubber stopper here. It's just lightly glued into place. And you wanna make sure that it's the thickness of the table plus the top of here. So line it right to the edge and keep tightening underneath. And now your spinner is now secure to the table. Now any ball that you want to do, or any loose yarn, you're going to want to come up to the first one right here and keep wrapping around like so, so that it's all the way through. So if you want to review, come up on the inside and wrap this around. Next point is that you're going to go to the top of the spindle next. Once it's through that feeder, you're going to want to come into the slot on the top and go through both sides. Like this. To help start this, I would provide tension on this just after the yarn guide and just go on and it will just push it nice and tight. If it's jumping off right immediately, it just needs a little bit of pressure to it. And then once you get it started, you can go. I don't keep a clean dust, but that's okay. And I just kind of just kind of pinching it, just allowing a little bit of pressure. But again, if you don't want to, uh, any pressure at all, just let, let it go. You don't even need to hold it but I like my tight balls and it's easier to store them as well. And I know what you're thinking, well, why can't you do this by hand? Sweetie, it's got a crank hand, a handle. That's all you need to know. So you just keep on going until you think it's too big. You will notice that when the yarn ball is too big that it will start jumping off the top of it, that the whole thing does not slide off like it does with those cheap little winders. So you can probably go at a pretty good click. So you're noticing here then, if you really look carefully, as you're spinning this, not only is the whole thing turning, but this is causing this to rotate slowly, which then provides the up and down motion that you see in a regular ball winder that you would see at a yarn company that's making yarn. Um, do you hear much sound? There isn't. I like that too. My other one squeaks a lot. So you get to play with it and see how big you can make your balls. So once it's done, the ball will run out or whatever you're doing. Just make sure that before you do anything, just get this loose end to be just kind of wrapped around. 
So watch what happens to the center. You're going to want to stabilize it. You don't want the whole thing to pop off, but it will if you don't if you want it to. You roll up this, the ball band if you want to keep that. Just place it around the center here. You can release this. This has a little bit of friction to it, so just release it and make sure the other tail end is ready to go and just carefully just slide it off. And you're noticing all the tension will happen naturally to the inside of the ball if there's any tension there at all. And therefore it fills it in and it will relax to the inside of the ball, therefore saving the stretch of the yarn. So this is one of the biggest advantages, I guess, of this kind of thing, other than it's a pretty cool tool to have. And once you have it, you'll see that it can be stored nice and flat and also has the fluffiness of a yarn cake. Hopefully you've enjoyed and let me know in the comments below.